So first I'm going to point out the keyboard. In front of me I have a keyboard, a CAD mouse, and a space mouse all made by 3D Connection. And because they're designed for architects and engineers, they're actually aware of the software that we are in. So I'm in Revit. You can see the little toolbar in the lower right on the window start bar. This can be moved around, but basically it's showing me which commands are mapped to the custom keys across the top of the keyboard. And they're uniquely grouped together in groupings of four. So the first four keys, if I pick the last key in the first grouping, it's going to be the dimension key. So you don't have to move your cursor away from where you're working, up to the ribbon or even down to their special toolbar. You just press the fourth key, and I can see that that's the regular Revit dimension icon. So I just dimension something quickly. I'll pick the third key in the first grouping, which is going to be the measure command. And then the first key in the fourth grouping. So I'm using my non-dominant hand to pick the physical buttons on the keyboard. So right now I just pressed the first button in the second grouping and that gets me to the text command. And then the other thing that you can do um, is edit those. If I were to click on one of those buttons it automatically opens this window so here's the first grouping, the second grouping, and the third grouping of these four physical keys across the top of the keyboard. And you can change these to do whatever you want. And there's some really interesting opportunities that don't normally present themselves to us as users unless you're digging into something with the, the quick access toolbar maybe, but things like e-transmit and format converter and under analyze there's things with the analytical model architecture so you can pretty much get these buttons mapped to anything in Revit which is really cool another thing that you can do that's in context and really convenient is on the CAD mouse there's a special button on the center top just below the regular wheel on a normal mouse and if I click that button it opens up this little icon or this toolbar at my cursor. And so you see this one is actually fit. Once you have these memorized, all you have to do is take your cursor from where that menu opened up and just swipe your cursor through it. And now it just did a zoom to fit. I press that button again and in the lower right here is a line. So I just move my cursor through that and now I'm in the Revit Align command, which is really cool. And then one more example, here's the measure tool. So that measure tool is repeated in this case in another spot. The space mouse itself also has a left and right button, and those actually can be mapped to whatever you want. So that's uh, some productivity things while you're working on construction documents or presentation graphics. And then when it comes to 3D views, it's really interesting that the 3D mouse actually works pretty well in both Revit and Enscape. So let's take a look at that. We're in a 3D view. I have the anti-aliasing and ambient shadows turned on. We also have a fine level of detail. And you'll notice when the 3D connection mouse is installed, we actually have a little icon that shows up for it right here. I'm actually switching it to walk mode. And then if I just simply start moving the mouse, I'm pushing on the 3D mouse away from me. It's walking through space. And now I'm gonna twist the top of the 3D mouse the 3D mouse doesn't actually move on the surface of the table and it doesn't twist very much. So now I am pushing away from me and twisting at the same time. And so pushing away, twisting, and then also lifting. And now I'm moving up in space. So you can actually move four different ways at one time just with one hand. 
So this is a really powerful tool to sort of move through a Revit model in a way that's not normally possible. We can even go up into the ceiling space and because I have fine level of detail we see a really fine bar joist showing up. And now we'll see how we can essentially do the same thing in Enscape. Before I open Enscape, I'll point out the fact that I have some of the new Enscape 4.0 settings on. So the ray traced artificial light, which is a beta in Enscape 4.0. Um, and then this isn't new to 4.0, but I also have this uh, shadow denoiser turned on. And you'll notice over here on the right, just for fun, I have the task manager open set to GPU showing um, how the frame buffer, the GPU memory, and the processor is being used once Enscape starts on my NVIDIA RTX 5000 ADA generation GPU. So I'll go ahead and start Enscape. You'll notice that the 3D connection toolbar notices that I'm switching to Enscape and while this is loading I'm actually going to open up my browser and notice all the options on my physical keyboard if I click on this, these are all just the default out of the box options. So I could change these to open different websites like Autodesk and Enscape. And of course, 3D Connection's already on there so you can get the latest driver. If I were to switch to Word, you'll notice that there's options here to copy and paste. And so there's specific commands related to using Microsoft Word, which is really cool. All right, so now that Enscape is open, we can move even smoother here than we could in Revit, which is really cool. I'm going a little bit fast, but you can kind of get the idea that sitting in front of a client presenting the project, this would be a much more cinematic way rather than using the typical arrow key and, and mouse at the same time. And then you also have the opportunity to actually really look at something in a really fine level of detail. Um, basically, I'm moving in four directions, not directions, but four ways at once. I'm twisting, pushing, lifting, and tilting this all with one hand at one time. And then the other cool thing, just to highlight the artificial light, option that's now available in Enscape. So these artificial lights that we see here are now being ray traced in real time. And this is just my sample model. Here's the wall that I just moved with the align tool in the floor plan. And I'll go back outside. The outside looks really great with the ray traced artificial lights. And just to point out that Enscape specifically supports the Space Mouse. If we go to the Enscape window settings, input, notice that there's a toggle here to enable, which is on by default the 3D connection space mouse. So it's a really cool ecosystem of input devices, the CAD mouse, the keyboard, and the space mouse that architects and engineers can use both for day-to-day -day productivity and navigating 3D models. It also works in other CAD programs like AutoCAD and SolidWorks. 